Well, the tide has turned after a two-year absence. Independent film is back and ready to be celebrated in Rehoboth Beach. The spirit of cinema is indeed alive and well, and with over a dozen titles ranging from documentaries, dramas, and international films, the Rehoboth Beach Independent Film Festival is set to fill some seats. Yes, yeah, supporting local arts while treating myself to a nice bucket of popcorn. Mm. Sounds pretty good to me. Hope you're sharing. <laughs> and here to give us Maybe. a preview of all the festivities is Executive Director Helen M. Chamberlain. Helen, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. I know you're excited that, that it's back after two years. What does it feel like to be able to share these films in Sussex County again? Uh, great. Mm -hmm. uh, great for all arts, arts organizations to yeah. be back and be able to move forward. Yeah, so can you tell us about the features, what's coming up in the film sure, festival? Sure, sure. So we're celebrating, celebrating our 24th anniversary. Mm -hmm. We really tried to spend more time focused on acquiring documentaries. We we sort of nailed or scaled, I'm sorry, scaled down the feature dramas and put a little more emphasis on the international films. Oh, yeah. So we have a great lineup. You know, traditionally, the festival has drawn about 30 films over the seven days, mm -hmm. but we're still trying to get back. So we're at 14 films, mm -hmm. which will screen 33 times over the week. Wow. Um, great films on the international front. We have two French features, The Test and Rose. We have a film from Ghana, As Far As I Can Walk, and then we have something, one of the films that's tracking really well at the festivals is The Forger, which is a German piece. The good news is that they all have English subtitles. <laughs> that's that's that is good news, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> so I understand there's actually a complimentary after party for ticket holders. Yes, what we tried to do, traditionally the festival has always had a tent and people would convene in the tent and uh, talk about what they experienced between films. And we really aren't in a position to do that this season, but we are working towards the tent next season. Um, it'll be our 25th anniversary in the fall of 2023. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to create opportunities for that community that people had in the tent through uh, positioning three receptions for ticket holders that have tickets to those three specific films. Gotcha. So we will convene in our lobby after each of those three films. We have some talent coming into the room. We have the featured performer who uh, is part of the documentary 44 Lights. So we can tell kind of as, as we're reading that intro where you're getting, you're like, yeah, you're yeah. nodding. You're like, yeah, I'm fired. <laughs> what got you interested and passionate about independent film? Um, I tripped into it in Washington, D.C. I was um, a native from that city and like any native who wants to build a career in Washington DC you start out in the public policy sector or mm -hmm. regulatory sector so I worked on the hill and then found my way to the trade associations and one of the trade associations I worked for uh, 20 years was the cable industries trade association so I worked in the programming space I did premieres at our theater on Capitol Hill and critic tours on the West Coast for the cable programming companies. Okay, so back to the uh, the, the, the film festival. This is really a big deal for the economy, the restaurants and, exactly. and such in Rehoboth Beach, isn't it? Exactly, I mean, you know, the art house, the idea of an art house is that it's really supported by community through private sector dollars, sponsorships, and individual donors. So when you go to an art house to see a theater, you're supporting the community at large. And in turn, the art house is consuming and buying and running operations through local vendors, suppliers. So it really is an investment. I, I can't emphasize community enough. Mm -hmm. It's That's what it's really about. As opposed to going to see a traditional theatrical release in a cinema, um, this is much more grassroots, more local. And there are a lot of great art houses um, in the, on the mainland, here in our area, um, on the shore, it's really us, mm -hmm. the Rehoboth Beach Film Society, and our theater is the Cinema Art Theater in Lewis. So we're it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So if people want to be part of it, be part of you guys, mm -hmm. uh, give us again the details of the of the film festival. So the film festival again runs seven days. It mm -hmm. starts November seventh through the thirteenth. Um, the tickets are flat, ten dollars a film. Whether you're a member of the society or general admission, our members do get to go into the theater first. Um, we will again have these receptions they're complimentary for those films that you choose uh, to purchase your tickets i highly encourage you do so by going to our website rehobothfilm.com uh, it's pretty easy to sign up for multiple films and uh, we look forward to seeing you there yeah. sounds like a yeah. great time yeah. Yeah. helen m chamberlain thank mm -hmm. you so much oh. for coming thank in. thank you lisa and thank you katie all right